Hi friends, you know, all week long, I have seen posts from so many of your parents showing first day of school pics. And I want you to know whether you are virtually learning at home or starting another year of homeschool or back on the school bus or driving on to the school building, we've been thinking about all of you and sure hope that your school year has gotten off to a great start. Listen, I'm up here this morning in our preschool room Sure doesn't look like we're ready for anybody, does it? Well, we're not. As you probably have heard, our parents, a small part of them, are going to start regathering on, the, on Sunday. But we've just decided with all the protocols, with cleaning and um, things we need to think about with our supplies and our toys. In fact, these are new cabinets so that we can have one-hour toys and other-hour toys. We've just decided we're not ready to have you guys come back yet on a Sunday morning. We're sure working hard to do it, but it's just not the right time. But that doesn't mean we can't regather. So I want to invite all of you to our block party on Saturday. This Saturday, please come out and join us. We actually have a reservation link because we need to know that you're coming. So re reserve a spot right now. We are going to have fun activities. We're going to have a brand spanking new parking lot. So you guys can get out um, your very own sets of, of sidewalk chalk that we're going to supply you. And you're going to be able to draw welcome back signs. And we're here and happy and all those messages for the people that come on Sunday. We're going to have worship. We're going to have snacks. Um, and we even have a freebie for mom and dad. So a giveaway for them. So come on out. It's going to be socially distanced. We're going to use our parking lot tailgate style. Um, everything that we say on the stage or we sing is going to come through your car radio. How cool is that? You're just going to need a device to, to get some of the information, um, and a car radio and you'll be all set. So we hope you all join us. Please, please register so that we can make sure we have enough materials. Mom, dad, this is going to be a safe environment, fun for your family in your two parking spots where you can just feel like you are back together with the whole CP Kids gang. So anyway, are y'all ready to worship here today? Great, so enjoy and we'll see you on Saturday. Bye.
What? Oh, no, 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 no. Ugh. Hello there, friends. It's me, Lucy. The wind must have blew through the clubhouse because all of our pictures fell off the walls. What am I going to do? What a mess. How am I going to clean all of this up? It's too big of a job for me. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Lucy. Who? Who? You look like you are feeling blue. Hi, Ollie. I sure am. The wind knocked all of my pictures off the walls. There's no way I can clean them all back up. That is a big mess. It's true. But there is something you can do. Just listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Hola, friends. Hello. I'm Luis, the handyman. Good to see you. I'm just fixing this radio for my aunt, Marisol. It's been broken for a while, so I offered to help fix it for her. That reminds me of a story. Do you want to help me build it? <laughs> Great. Let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer. Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down now. Now, we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Okay, so today's true story from the Bible is about a woman named Tabitha. Tabitha loved God and helped people by making them clothes which was good because lots of people needed help. There you go, guys. Wow, great job, Tabitha. <laughs> you helped a lot of people. Did you know God made you and me to help people too? That's right. Whether you're a grown-up or a kid, you can help. Even if you can't sew like Tabitha, do you think God could use a kid like you to help others? Of course, yes. Let's think of things you can do to help. Hmm, you can draw someone a picture to make them smile. You can play toys with your little sister or cousins or neighbors. You can help clean up after dinner. You can give someone a hug and tell them you love them. You can help in so many ways, no matter how old you are. God made you to help. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who made you? God made me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who made you? God made me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios. So there's your story. It's all true. No matter who you are, you can help too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? What a great story. God made everyone to help. No matter how old we are, we can help. That means you can help and I can help. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Good! Even though I am small, I can do this big job and pick the pictures up and hang them back up. Can I take one last picture of you? This time, give a thumbs up for being a happy helper. Are you ready? Say cheese! Awesome! I'll see you guys later. Bye! I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Psalm 139, 14. One more time. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Psalm 139, 14.